Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. Truly hope you're finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. So I actually finished my music. It's a little choppy. I'm debating whether I'm going to clean it up or not, but I kind of want to leave it as is because it's going to be a reminder of where I started because this is the first track that I've made of my own. And yeah, I can clean it up, make it sound perfect, but, you know, my channel, my shirts, you know, everything I do is... You know, obviously to spread love and positivity and inspire people, but also to be a reminder that life is perfect, imperfectly perfect, or perfectly per imperfect, whichever way you want to say it. Um, and I appreciate where I am. The fact that I even got that much done in the last couple of days is amazing to me because I haven't I haven't tried to make a track in probably ten years. I haven't really played with my drums until a couple of months ago, you know, and I think I said it in another vlog that, you know, I think, you know, I'm grateful to have the people that I have in my life. I have Marie, who is finding herself and finding her music and finding her voice, which is inspiring me to get back in touch with mine. Just like with YouTube, I started watching uh, FouseyTube, um, A.K. Fuzzy, A.K.A. Yusuf, um, also watching Adam Sella when it was originally True Story ASA. Um, they were the two that kind of inspired me to start me doing my vlogs and starting putting myself out there like that, you know. And you know, back in 2014, me and Marie both started. Um, the radio show, and I continued on after she decided not to do it, do it, no longer do it with me, and just recently, as far as, you know, around Thanksgiving time, between watching um, Yusuf, watching Fousey, and watching um, Roman Atwood, I was inspired um, to start the t-shirt line, and, you know, more and more things are coming into my life to, you know, get me inspired enough to start doing more and more of what I love to do. And, do, and, and you know, just doing it and enjoying myself while I do it and, you know, sharing it with people. And I can't, I couldn't be happier. Yesterday, I, you know, I won't say about yesterday. <laughs> Um, because I'm changing subjects, but I just wanted to start the vlog off like that. Talk about how blessed I am, how grateful I feel, how inspired I am. You know, my motivation isn't still 100%, but, you know, I'm going to work it out. And I get a added journey to go on for the next month because Ramadan started yesterday but I f didn't officially start Ramadan yesterday because family was here and um, also it, you know without putting much out there it's that time of the month and you know in Islam you have permission or, you know, it's encouraged for women not to fast during that time um, because, you know, women that are watching, you know, you know, we, we're very fatigued. We're very, our energy isn't always there. So in order for us to keep our energy up, you know, God put it into the Quran that, you know, it's permissible for, for those that are sick, those women that are pregnant, women that are going through their menstruation cycle, that, you know, they don't have to fast during that time. So, um, but 
I am still preparing myself to full on um, fast because right now it is 4.30 and I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet, but I am going to go grab something now. Um, and within the next day or two, I will be going full blown with the fasting and everything. So, and I was debating if I was going to do, um, I was going to, I was debating whether I was going to do Ramadan vlogs this year. Um, I don't think I'm going to dedicate the whole thing to Ramadan, but I, you know, here and there I might mention facts or, you know, see if I'm with my mother-in-law, if she's willing to, you know, tell me something that I might not already know about Ramadan. Um, and just share a few things for those of you who might not be Muslim and you might be curious and, you know, because I want to share my life, which I do, but... I really haven't been doing regular vlogs. You know, I've been keeping it specific to the Motivational Mondays and um, poetry and stuff. But I am going to slowly but surely try to get back into, you know, on the days that I don't have something specific, that I'm going to try to add, you know, a vlog here and there. You know, if I'm not doing anything, then I'm not really going to vlog unless I have something that's on my mind that I want to say. Um, so anyway... What I am doing today is, or what I did last night is, my family was over and I didn't record it because not all of them want to be on camera, so I respected that. So, but what I did do, I started up the prep meals again with the leftovers from the food that we had yesterday. Um, one of my uncles brought mac cheese. Another aunt brought uh, chicken wings. Um, I made the pulled chicken. You'll see that on Thursday. Um, and I made a huge salad. So I got about five um, things of salad in here. These are all going to help me with Ramadan and just, you know, having stuff to bring to work. And I actually going to make um, some oatmeal. Um, overnight oatmeal cups that I can bring so I have some breakfast so that's what I'm gonna do for now otherwise I'm just gonna I gotta run and get some cat food for my boys um, and just clean my my uh, bed off a little bit cuz yeah you want to see what it looks like? so yeah that's the pile on my bed it's been there for about a week um, I actually gonna make a donation bag of clothes that um, I'm gonna donate or give away. Um, just cause I'm slowly but surely trying to minimize what I have in my room or even in the house to start getting rid of stuff here and there. So All right, so I just made a couple of omelets. They're already in the fridge. I also made the the oatmeal, and now. And you'll see this in a later video. I'm going to attempt to make strawberry jam. I'm not going to show all the process of this in this video. I'm going to save it for um, my cooking Thursdays. So um, for now, I'm just going to get this done. And I'll show you the after product, but I'm not going to show the process right now. So in that for the moment, have some strawberries and I'll be back. So, so far, I haven't cleaned my bed off. I don't think I'm going to get to that today. But I am going out for a minute with my mother. She's been in high anxiety. So, what I've been doing is when she starts getting into a complaint mode or start getting agitated in the house, I tell her, okay, let's go for a ride. So, I get to eat cat food anyway. So, I'm going to take her out and go out for a minute and get cat food and come home. <laughs> so, found my way out to the beach. Looks nice. My mom is walking behind me. She needed to get out, relieve some of her anxiety. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna take a slow walk myself. And relax so 
I'll take you for a walk. You want to come for a walk? Let's go. So I get a, but I think I have about a year and a half to either find a new job or get something rolling with everything that I'm trying to do. It does bring up anxiety, but. I know everything ends up working out and I want I just want to stay positive I don't want to fall into anxiety because then I become unfunctional I don't function well I get stuck in my head and I don't want that to happen so I'm gonna keep grinding like I have been and continue enjoy my life and in the meantime, any of you that watch me, happen to watch me and watch um, Fuzi, aka Fuzi Tube, um, he started this new adventure, this new journey. Um, kind of reminds me of this documentary on uh, Netflix called uh, The Kindness Diaries, where the gentleman in that documentary. relied completely on the kindness of strangers to get him either from one place to the other. Well, he had his motorbike with him, but he, you know, as far as getting food, a place to stay, possibly a few dollars, um, you know, he relied on the kindness of strangers. And right now, Fuzi is kind of doing the same thing. Um, right now, he's just kind of baby-stepping it, going from um, one YouTuber to the next YouTuber to the next people that he already knows. But in between, he's getting help getting rides. Sometimes people give him money. But today, in his video, he came across a homeless man, and he broke one of his rules where he wasn't going to touch any of his own money, but he felt guided to you know, give this guy a hand up. Um, you know, not a hand out, but a hand up. You know, just for the moment, and amazing things happen in that vlog. Um, I'll put the link down below because it, it's a, it's worth the watch, you know, especially that, part, that point in the video. Um, it is a long video just to give you the heads up, but... It brought me to tears, and it inspired me, and it's giving me the push to go do what I've been thinking about doing for the last couple of weeks, which is, as um, soon as I get the chance, I'm going to go downtown and do what I did in a previous video where, you know, either I'm passing out food or passing out a few bucks to a couple of random homeless people. Um, it's because... I, you know, I've been in a giving mood and impulsive mood. You know, not just by buying stuff for myself, but, you know, doing things for other people. So, um, yeah. 
So look forward to that. I don't know exactly when I'll do it, um, but I, I plan to do it very soon. So, and Marie might be with me because she mentioned that she kind of wanted to do it, do the, the same thing again as well. So anyway, um, there's not really gonna be much more to my day today. I'm just gonna go home, eat, and get ready for work, relax before work. Um, so I'm just gonna end it right now. Um, I thank you for watching. I know I didn't show the end of the strawberries. All right, it's been about two hours now since I put this in the fridge. So let's check the consistency, shall we? I mean, it's not like jelly jelly, but it's supposed to be a like a preserve. So you could spread it on peanut butter and jelly on your toast. So... I don't think the consistency is pretty well, um, but that's going to be coming up in an upcoming video, so don't worry about it. Um, until then, <laughs> until the next vlog, I want to thank you for watching, and as always, like, love, share, and inspire. Thanks a lot. Peace. And don't forget, love is everything.